G'day, this is Captain Noob, and today we're going to pick a fight with a Scorch Beast. That's right, um, when you come down to this end of the map, all of the Scorch Beasts are actually, uh, friendly. Not all of them, but you'll find them just flying around. They won't attack you, which is nice, but what that allows you to do is to, uh, pick a fight with them. Now I'm using my, uh, Stealth Commando build here. I've got myself a, uh, nice suppressed, um, combat rifle, and you don't, you don't really think, uh, combat rifle is that good, but uh, once you see it in action against Mr. Scorch Beast over here, well, look at this. I've seen shit on Facebook saying it took like 15 minutes and like thousands of thousands of bullets to take down a Scorch Beast. I'm calling bullshit. We've just knackered half of his health right and run round. Now he's gonna start spitting at us, which is... We can tank that, that's fine. And as soon as our AP are up, I'm just gonna crit spam away. Alright, what we're going to do is move over to our uh, handmade rifle, because that's a little bit more damage. Um, he's sending a posse of weirdo scorch cons to attack me, but that's okay. We can uh, just shoot them and kill them very easily. And once our um, AP comes back, we'll have another round at him. I'll go over my build in a second, but um, what I'm basically doing is crit spamming. Think of it as like what you'd see in my Fallout 4 videos, but instead we're firing crits as fast as you can bloody blink. Alright, there should do him in, and goodbye Mr. Scorch Beast. See, this is how easy this game is. I already said this game was easy, but there you go, you can completely break it with my commando build. Ah, uh, don't feel bad, I've been fighting monsters when you're at your mother's teat, just ask Swan. Okay, so there you have it. That was the gameplay there against the Scorch Beast. We kicked its ass, which is great. Let's go ahead and talk about my build. This is the boring bit. You can all go and turn off the video now. Okay, let's just take it from the top. First of all, we've got Commander at rank 3. That's the only actual Commander rank we have all the way up to the top. So yet again, there is more optimizing to be done here. But to make best use of what um, perk points we do have, Using the first rank of Expert and uh, Master Commander will actually give us the best damage per perk uh, point there, which is pretty good. So we've got three of the Rifleman perks, one of which is actually fully ranked out. Tank Killer, I don't think that actually helped us. This helped us with a little bit of hipfire accuracy and reload. I think that'll actually be really good. Um, Expert Rifleman didn't help us here. Now, Concentrated Fire. This is what gave us all of that bat's accuracy and damage, which is great. Hang on, let me just put that back and examine that. So yeah, we get a fairly decent amount of accuracy bonus per shot, and that allows us to absolutely crit spam the shit out of him using these things here, which we'll get to later. Um, all of these in um, Endurance is really not that much. Even Adamantium Skeleton is not used because I was wearing the Ultra Sight Power Armor as you saw, which is really awesome. So none of this is actually... Damn it, I just swapped that one out. It doesn't matter. But we've used Charisma as a dump stat here. Um, we could get a little bit better damage resistance, but as you can tell, I was tanking that pretty damn easily. So, you know, um, I don't really think we need any more. Um, it gives us more points to put somewhere else, which is uh, useful because we're on a limited supply here. Anyways, for intelligence, not really anything going on here. Gunsmith will help us, um, you know, have our guns degrade at a lower rate, which is good. And also that'll help us with our guns keep on fighting. Although I could probably get away with not using those ones because I finished the fight so quickly my gun wouldn't even be destroyed. Now, this is where it gets a little bit more interesting. So, sneak rank 2. I found that, um... If you have Sneak over rank 1, it sort of breaks the game, so you definitely uh, go 2 or 3 on that one. We've got Mr. Standman, which helped us out because we're in the night. We get an extra 50% sneak attack crit damage, which is great. We've also got Escape Artist, which didn't really help us there, but that'll allow us to lose enemies at um, range, which is good. Um, that's really good for just using your Stealth Commando for mobbing. Covert Operative gives us more sneak attack crit bonuses. All of these um, come together. They all synergize together really well when I got that first um, fight, uh, that first burst of crit spams on 
old mate Scorch Beast because we were able to stack that damage so quickly. Action Girl is good for um, regening your AP, although Lone Wonder does the same thing. Uh, making sure you're rejuvenated though, that actually helps out with AP regeneration if you're well hydrated. So that actually does have a little bit more to do with it now that I think of it. Now when it comes to luck perks, I've got three and better criticals, so... Having crits do more damage is a great way to increase your damage output. Critical Savvy, this one actually is pretty decent. If you can get that to rank 3, only 55% of your crit meter. Okay, that'd be friggin' crazy. I think I might like that. I might change out Serendipity 2 and just get another Critical Savvy going on because that is really, really good for crit spamming. And this really didn't help at all. Um, I shot the enemies heaps there and I didn't have my weapon repair on me once, so... You know what, that's probably going to go. I'm probably going to get Critical Savvy up to rank 3. And maybe even that one, because I think that one actually gives you like a almost 50% chance to avoid damage, which is great. That actually synergizes really well with Born Survivor, which I do actually recommend having this um, on the first one, because you want to really get that kicking in when you're low health. You don't want it proccing every time you're on 40% health, although that would help for more, um, I guess... Uh, dire situations, but having it p uh, pull at the last or activate at the last um, second, I feel like is better. Also, it keeps your um, points low, so you can get away with doing lots of other stuff. We'll just chuck sneak back on, make sure nobody finds out where we are. And I think that about covers it. We're getting towards the end game style of the stealth commando build. I'll probably have more mobbing or more gameplay of this if you want it. But if not, we'll try to do something else with it. Kill another scary monster with it. Until then, uh, thank you very much for watching. And how cool is this power armor? Too bad it's a quest reward. I don't feel special for having it. Oh well. Thank you for watching, guys. Okay, to prove that wasn't a fluke, I'm going to take on a level 65 Scorch Beast, I've decided. Now, I've uh, started kind of wrong here because... Uh, I'm already down to 40% health, but that's okay. I'm going to I'm gonna kick his ass either way. So uh, we'll just wait for our AP to come back and uh, tank some. We'll just eat some of that. Sure, why not get some healing going on. Now, I know I've got some Psycho in somewhere. I'm just going to have some of that too. Um, psycho buff, that'll do. All right, so there's a Scorch down there. Don't really care. No, no, not him. God damn it, Bats. That's the one we want. And we've leveled up somehow and managed to slaughter him very, very quickly. See, we didn't have Psycho last time, so we're even doing better. Yes, you get on the ground. You didn't learn from Alduin. As soon as he was on the ground, he was fucked, mate. Ah, oh, he's doing a thing. Actually, we're at 100% health. That's fine. Um, don't worry, nobody panic. Um, he's just gonna dab and uh, do little damage to me. Alright, let's just target your face. Where's your head? There it is. Die, you... No, bats, no. Why'd you glitch on me like that? Even without my crit spamming abilities. <laughs> you all saw the health bar. That was like nothing left in it. Uh, okay, bats. You drunk. Go home. Oh, for fuck's sake. I think I'm lagging. Yeah, this is what's good about having Australian internet. Ah, oh, well, even with my dank powers of lag, I still killed it. You get the idea. And he actually gave us nothing. This is your fault. Wow, I was ripped off, but he didn't give me shit. Nah, okay. Well, level 65 didn't fluke it. He's still moving. I think he's dead. Someone actually launched a nuke. What's happening? Where's it going? Over there. He's nuking the robots, the bastard. Should we go check that out? Maybe.